skaters my name is alex white and i'm back again with another installment of the judging panel and i'm here with legendary street skateboarder jamie reyes hey jamie how you doing i'm good how are you good where are you right now in uh covid land i'm in the covid free zone at my house in virginia covid free <laughs> I'm keeping it that way what have you been doing to uh pass the time uh, skating my mini ramp or my flat bar or my box or the quarter pipe or the little box uh just skating and uh watching a shit ton of crap and i watching a shit ton of skateboarding on youtube <laughs> sounds like all of us right now yeah basically it is what it is but it's getting me through life yeah that's all we can do <laughs> that's all we can do right now because i do not want to get sick and if I get sick, I don't want to get anyone else sick. So I'm pretty home base. I leave my house maybe once a week on Sundays to go skate with the homies, but that's pretty it. And I'm super cautious about everything. Yeah. Well, that's a good attitude and we'll ride this out together. But in the meantime, we have this super fun contest. Um, we're going to be judging a bunch of video parts. How are you feeling about the exposure video contest? I actually can't wait to watch watch all these homies or people I don't know. I just want to see what people have been doing during this uh, pandemic we've been having. So that'll be really exciting for me to see who's got what, who's been doing what, and just to see, I don't know, just to see the level of skateboarding in, during a pandemic. It's kind of weird. It's a weird time right now. So I, I'm really excited to watch this. Yeah. And you're someone that knows a lot about filming video parts. Do you know offhand, like how many video parts you filmed in your life or like segments even? Uh, according to all the videos I have upstairs that I have, I don't have all of them, but I have, I guess, 20 plus videos Damn. that I've been in. Damn. So um, I think I've put in some work. I wish I had all the videos, but I do not, but it is what it is. Yeah. I guess, I don't know. A lot of it's not even on YouTube, which is kind of weird, but it's okay. I have the physical copy, so I'm okay with it. Yeah. I have um, a little reel for you, a retrospective that I want to share with the viewers and hear your take on your years of filming experience. Uh, you want to check that out? Yes. Let's do this. <laughs> Cool. So uh, this is Jamie Reyes, a retrospective. Jamie, you've been in so many video projects that um, somebody, is this a friend of yours or someone you know have made like a compilation of a lot of your footage over the years? Do you know who did this? Yeah, it was this, uh, this dude, Darren Lee, that I grew up skateboarding with. And he filmed a lot of my earlier stuff. And he took a bunch of the, uh, later footage from videos that I've been in that you know like people don't know that I've been in and like I was like he put the 40 and friends part in there yeah. too so it just it's just a, a bunch of random videos that he grabbed knowing he knows me very well he's a very good friend of mine and he just I guess he just took every video that he knew I was in and put it into one compilation for you folks and uh well, well I hope you guys like it well, this is such a great thing to have. What a great, what a great friend. So uh, there's an, there's another one too that I'll tell you about. Cool. Well, maybe we can, maybe we can watch both of them. So this looks like uh, really early footage of you. Can you tell me where this was and about how old you were? I was 13 years old. Uh, this is this place called Ahala Park. It's a famous skate park in Hawaii. It's actually a roller rink. In for roller derby that's why there's a little lift on top but yeah that's uh it was it was like three blocks from my house and i would go there every day and then this spot is the hickam air force base we call it the hangar and i used to go there all the time and skate when it was raining or just just skate and then all the park again i heard that little girl and i feel really bad and that place, Blaisdell, is a pretty famous spot. And then we're back at Olive Park again. 
and how do you use the uh, skip school to go skate all the park? Oh, all the time. <laughs> well, yeah, well, you can tell my mom. She probably knows by now. That's how, you know, I cut class. And that's how I got the cover of Thrasher. That was my first photo ever, too, in a magazine. By cutting I class. Think. But don't do that, kids. Education first. Well, if you're gonna get the cover of Thrasher, I don't know. You can cut class. Cut class. <laughs> it has to be worth it for you to skip school. I think it, it was, was worth, worth it. it to me. I didn't know I was going to get the cover though. I was just shooting for a photo and it turned out to be the cover and I I can't say like I was super excited I cut class that day and super excited that I'm doing what I'm doing today. Does that make sense? Yeah. So for those of you that don't know, Jamie Reyes was the second woman ever to appear on the cover of Thrasher um, skating here. Who you say it? Ayala? Ayala Park. Ayala Park. I'm such a white girl. I'm so sorry. Ayala Park. All right. Tell, Ayala tell Ayala a story Park. about how you found out you were on the cover of Thrasher. <laughs> oh, God. I, so I was like at a local drugstore. Uh, I think if you guys in California, it's CVS for you guys, but it's a chain in Hawaii called Long Drugs, but it's owned by CVS. And I was like, they're buying candy in a soda pop or something. And right when you're at the cash register, there's all the magazines. And I was like, holy shit, that looks like me. I end up, uh, and it was me. So I end up returning what I had. And I was like, uh, I can't buy this because I couldn't afford the magazine and my snacks. I can't remember, maybe 16 in Army. But yeah, I love this ledge. I want to skate this there ledge goes. all the time. Switch stands backside to tail sled. <laughs> yeah, that was for you kids. And this is Vancouver, Slam City Jam contest. Good old contest. And then this is the homies. Cause you always got to include your homies in your, in your video part, right? Right. We should uh, make a video for real, Alex. I'm so down. Look how little you guys are. <laughs> yeah, me and Forrest. Mr. Forrest Kirby right mother. there. That's Zared, like baby Zared. When he first got on Zoo. Yeah, Felix's ass is always in the way. That's this is Felix Arguelles. Uh, and then you got Giovanni Reto. <laughs> Zared again. And more Zared. 
And then Supa, Danny Supa, messing up my shot because I filmed that part. Danny Supa again. I also filmed this of Danny Supa, which is pretty dope because I sucked at filming. I just bought a camera and just, like, I want to film everything. I didn't know that you were into filming. Uh, yeah, but I'm not good. That's me and Todd Jordan. Good friend Harold Hunter. Rest in peace. He was awesome. He's got an awesome dance going. We were just having a good old time back in the days. The homies. Uh, me and Tino skating down the street. Having a good old time. This is House of Street Park. I love that ledge. I thought that was the best Nolly half cab, tell, knows, whatever you want to call it, ever I did in my life. That was right across the street from World Trade. Pyramid ledges, but I didn't skate the pyramid ledges, I skated the bottom, obviously. So I wanted to do this line with RB. And I'm stoked RB got it. This is, uh, Jersey. I don't remember where in Jersey, but it was their famous roller rink. And it was like 18 degrees that day. And uh, Seaport, Newport, Seaport, Newport, that's what we call it back in the day. These famous ledges. Oh, I love those ledges too. That's a good line. I love ledges. This is in Long Beach. Lisa Le Whitaker filmed this. This as well. And she filmed this, and that's Jaya right there. She's in that photo. Lisa filmed this also. Uh, the Santa Monica Courthouse. It's a good old time. Man, I love those ledges too. I don't remember this, where this was, but that was Vanessa right there in the red. Houston Street Stairs, Brooklyn Banks. We got a bunch of stuff. Seaport, Big Four. What else we got? St. Vincent's Hospital, back to the Seaport ledges. We got the Brooklyn Bridge behind there. Eat the scenery. And here's your knowledge flip for you. Love it. This is me with my camera that I bought filming myself. I made selfies. That was that was the first selfie ever. We claimed um, <laughs> first selfie I, ever. That was me, dude. This is what not, I want to say 2001, 2002, and I was filming myself. That that line, I filmed it. I pointed the camera down and filmed it. That was my first. Like that was a selfie. That was the first selfie, I think. Uh, more slam city jam. I can't remember what year this was. This was Seattle, Sound of Fury contest. Tampa, and McCurl, I can't remember. More Tampa, I love that back tail. And this is Vancouver. That's such a good back tail at the Vancouver Sunset Gym. Um, this is a, uh, I wanna say Battery Park. And if you see after I do this front board, the Twin Towers right there. This is from Corey and Friends, I think. Or Vicious Cycle. I can't remember, but yeah, I like that. That was like the first and only Nolly Frontside Note Slide I ever did in my life, to be honest with you guys. And this is in Ireland, this uh, mini rent hoodie. It was fucking cold, dude, in, even in that warehouse. That Nolly tray flip was for all y'all. And this is with the seaport ledges, uh, seaport again, but this is when they took away the, uh, the wooden benches and they put these wooden benches instead. And then the Brooklyn Banks front board. Hope you guys like it. That was sick. It was for you kids. Yeah. You know, there's, and then there's, I think, yeah, my goof off footage. I love this stuff. I love the ending. I love the credit footage. I always love the good of you too. I was just, this is me like, I didn't care. Like, I was just like, yeah, whatever. I like this Nolly flip. And this Nolly backside flip. I like that line a lot. I gotta try and do that line again. And uh, you're gonna do it with me. How about that? Um, me Nolly flipping? I don't think so. I'll, I'll, so this I'll ledge is on. right across the street from the house I grew up on. More all apart. I gotta do that again. Switch back heels. Can't bring that one back. 
Dude, I was wearing Versace pants, and then I landed in that one puddle in the whole fucking park. I was really bummed, and then it started raining. That's why I took my shirt off. But I, it was like, I bought the most expensive pants ever, and then I landed in that puddle, and I was pretty bummed. <laughs> I, and I still, I, those pants were so goddamn expensive that they don't fit, or they fit, but I don't wear them anymore, so... I kept them. I was like, dude, I spent a shit ton of money on them. I'm going to keep them forever. I'm not hoarding, but I was like, dude, like my first check, I think uh, the first X Games, Women's X Games Street, I got DFL. And you, I got DFL. I got disqualified. So I got DFL. So it was like eighth place. And I got money for it. I went with that check. I went to Rodale Drive and went to the Burberry store. Forgetting DFL, I was like, I got DFL. I'm going to go buy me some Burberry jeans. And that's what I did. And I still own those Burberry jeans. And that's what I, that's what I did. Pants Don't are, be like me. Uh, that, was, that was awesome. Pants are very important for skateboarders. We could go on a whole tangent just about how important good pants are. Yeah, those is like, uh, I don't know. I thought that would be a crazy story to tell you guys <laughs> that what I spent my money on. <laughs> what, yeah, what does, it literally what feel like, like watching all that footage right there, right now. Like, what do you, what, what's your thoughts about that? Um, and video parts I, in general. I think I accomplished some stuff that I didn't think was possible. I, you know, like, I think I can, like, I wasn't pushing the level of skating on purpose for females. I just wanted to skate. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just wanted to do it and I, and then made it happen. And I'm proud of what I did. Like, I'm proud how, like, I was, the day I learned switchback tells, oh my God, and let me tell you. I was like so fucking stoked to do a switch front tail though. I could never ever do to save my life, but switch back tail, switch back 5-0. It always came like, I don't know. I don't want to sound cocky or anything, but it was like kind of like natural. And I was super stoked to have those things because I love backside tail slides so much that I wanted to learn to switch backside tail slides. And that's how everything kind of came together. And just like the certain tricks that I did in that all those parts, uh, little tech, like, you know, the flips and I guess I did some gaps, kick flip some stuff, nollied down, nollied that double sit, but I wanted to do things that I thought was red and comfortable with and push myself. Like, I was like, hey, I think I can do this. And I, like that one rail, I front board in Long Beach that Lisa filmed, I was like, I think Ed, like there's, I saw footage of Ed Templeton and Muska skating that rail. I was like, fuck that rail. And like the, me being goofy, I had to take that cr crazy 90 degree turn. Mm -hmm. And I was like, dude, I'm going to die on this dude. Like trying to set up and turn 90 degrees just to get jump on this rail. But Lisa said I could do it. She had faith in me. And then I coached, I scoached myself in my head. I was like, oh, you're going to do it, bitch. <laughs> You're going to do it or you're not getting Taco Bell tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I did it. And then you know what? Lisa took me to Taco Bell after that. <laughs> so we, how important is the relationship between like the filmer and the skater? I think the relationship between the filmer and the skater is very, very important. Like me and Lisa Whitaker clicked. So she was always down to film with me uh my friend Darren Lee was you know like it just gotta be on the same page like me and RB Yamali we clicked as well there'd be like he was like hey why don't you try this and it would be things like I would, like he's like I know you can do it but it would be things like I would never think I would like ever try like for instance the front board down the Brooklyn Nine so that day and that day for me, I was like, I'm gonna go skate the banks, but I'm gonna go skate the banks, not the rail. You know what I'm saying? Because 
those stairs were uh, short but long as fuck. That's a long, long stairs. Like, and then to add the long stairs, you got a long rail. And I was like, dude, I cannot do that. And then the day I skated there was with Muska. It was me, Muska, uh, Giovanni Retta, RB Amali. And I was like, and you know, Muska is just killing the rail. I was like, I don't want to skate. Like, I, I, I felt really intimidated that I was like, dude, this guy's doing everything. And then, you know, like RB gave me the pep talk. Like, dude, I think you can front board this rail. He like, she's like, you front board the fucking rail in Harlem. You can front board this rail. And I was like, dude, you know how long this rail is compared to that rail in Harlem? Like, this rail is fucking long as shit. Like, these stairs are long as shit. It's like the longest stairs, like, or rail I've ever done. Like, I was like, I don't, and he like, and that's what the filmer does. I guess you're like, they're your scotch. Like, even, even uh, Lisa Whitaker like talked me into doing some stuff. And I was like, nah, I don't think I can do it. But since you're with them so much and you click, they kind of know what your ability is. And they like pitch you this idea like, hey, I think you can do this. Just like the, there's this uh, one photo that was in Transworld. Uh, it's the Enterprise in Long Beach right by the convention center it was one of them asrs and it was that four stairs in a sidewalk gap and i shot a photo there with Reda. it was in trans road and you know like uh i think you can all this is like I, I can all you down to you know like maybe six stairs seven stairs i don't know this is kind of big it's like yeah it's four stairs in the sidewalk and i was like yeah this is a big ass sidewalk though but you know between uh, the photographer and filmer. So between Retta and Lisa Whitaker, the, it's the pep talk. They like your scotch. Like, I'm going to be your scotch. Because that's all I'm, I'm all about, scotching. And it's just that pep talk they give you because they know what your ability is. And I've never ever thought, like, oh, I can all of this or kick with it. And then the next thing you know, like, they're like, I think you can do it. Let's film it. Let's do your photo of it. And I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. But if I shit, I'm going to kill you. But I gave it a try and I landed it and rolled away, got the footage and got the photos. So I think it's very important to have a filmer that you click with and they kind of know who you are. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? You cut, yeah. Am I articulating myself right? Oh, perfectly, yeah. Like they kind of knew like, like I was saying, like Arby was just like, Hey, I think you're in front for this round. I was like, fuck you, dude. I cannot do this shit. Like, I am hungover as shit. I'm not gonna do it. And Musk is skating it. Musk is killing it right now. Who wants to skate a row with Muska? And it was just me and Muska. That's crazy. Like, <laughs> and you know how intimidating that is? It's so fucking intimidating. He's like, no, you got this, you got this. And I was like, okay, I'll try it. Dude, landed it. Like, I want to say, like, the fifth try, and I was like, peace, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I would, like, they talked me into it. That's what the filmer does and the photographer does. They talk you into it. I did it. I was like, holy shit, I just did this. I'm fucking out. <laughs> like, thank you. Come again. I'm out. <laughs> no, uh, like, I'm dead serious. And you know what? I went straight to Max Fitch. <laughs> because i was like holy shit i just front i was like i just front board the fucking nine like you know what i'm saying like i that was that was something i think that was to me that was one of my biggest accomplishments to hit, the, hit that rail that i would never ever thought about till that day so rb is like hey i think you can front board this rail and i was like yeah no <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. And like, the thing was, it's like, when I, I like, you know, like hit up RB whenever I woke up and he was like, hey, you know, let's beat up here. You know, and I was like, all right. And I didn't know, like he called up Muska to go skating too. So I was just like, oh my God, like it's fucking Muska. He's front flipping down this thing. He's front telling the front lip slide. Like he's doing everything. I was like, hmm. I'm just going to be a T-dog and watch now. Like, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I was really intimidated. 
but RB and Lisa Whitaker, Dar- even Darren, like all the people I've ever filmed with, they kind of know your ability and they kind of cheer you on. You're there, your scotch to me. Your filmer, your photographer is your scotch. Even like C C Tran, C Tran, like he was like, hey, this there was this hubba that I have a photo of, uh, front nose grinding in Pasadena. And he, I was like, I can't front nose grind at the shit. Uh-huh. And he's like, no, yeah, I think you can. It's it's just like they're your scotch. Yeah. So it's a really important that you have a tight relationship with your photographer or your filmer because they're the ones like looking at you. They see you skate everything. Like, hey, I think you can do this. And like I said, I never thought I could front board down the rail and RB, and I would I never ever thought about trying to do that. So RB was like, hey, I think you can do this. And I was like, what? Yeah, you got damn mine. <laughs> so but it happened. So so like now looking at it, I mean, you've done like so many amazing things. And I think it's hard even like for today's talent to live up to that. Like I would love to see a submission. Somebody doing a switch stance backside tail slide. I don't think I've seen many girls do one since you. I, does anybody else have that trick? Um, there's only one girl that I've seen so far, and it's Marina. I can't pronounce her name. Aguilar. But, uh, Brazilian. Uh-huh. Uh, Aguilar. No, wait. Um, Gab- Gabra. Let me look on my phone real quick. She is sick, dude. Yeah. Her nose manual nolly flip out T was butters yeah butters she's brazilian we talk on the dm but because i praised her on her switch backside tell slide because i've never seen i've seen one in, since you did it basically like that's like a that's pioneer shit jamie thank you marina gabriella gabriella yeah yeah i don't know i can't i can't roll my r's i'm sorry if i <laughs> said that wrong and you know think? I'm a Reyes. <laughs> Reyes. <laughs> do you, uh, what do you think like when we're going to be looking at the submissions for this, what are your personal top three most important things about a video part or footage of somebody? Like what are you, like style or like what are your things that you- I like? want, I want it, like for me, I don't know, maybe because it's me, I want style. I want the tech. I want diversity, but I guess is that three? Like I yeah. want, but I want to see tech. Like um, Monica Torres, dude. Seriously, she getting tech on her asses. Yeah, and I really appreciate that shit. Like I felt like I was pretty tech back then. Yeah, you were. Like, I've, t- dude, her, dude. There's so many things that she did. Her switch backside flips, her switch backside big spins. Oh. Yeah, dude, I can name like so many things. Like I would like to see tech. Like I want to see a little bit of everything, especially now that I'm spinning up, uh, been skating. I got a mini rep and then skating my mini, because I wasn't that diverse. I don't think before. I want to see like a little bit of everything, and like I learned how to slappy this year. I want to see a little bit of everything. Yes. You so know, diversity, like diversity, style, yeah. tech. Yeah, you know, it only took me twenty years, but yeah, I want to see. To do a slappy, yeah, I literally did. Like, cause I slappies were in when I started skating, but I never learned them. But <coughs> I definitely want to see a little bit of everything. Like, show me what you got. Don't show me. I don't know. I don't want to be mean. I want to see a little bit of everything, even if you're being goofy, but dope in goofy way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So any yeah. uh. Any, any like advice for people submitting their parts? Like anything that uh, from your years of experience filming that you think is good? Any tricks of the trade? Um, well, let me tell you, I never gave, uh, especially when you're so goddamn close, which uh, I think a skateboard mentality is you never give up. You'll keep going and you'll come back the next day and keep going and keep going till you land it. But I think, how do I try to articulate this right? Uh, ask me the question again. Sorry. Like, what are the tricks this- trade like for filming? Like, what's some tips for you know, some some of these people? It might be their first video part that they're filming and putting together. Like, extra so it's stuff. just you. The, 
<laughs> it's just you and the video camera, so that's kind of cool. So you try not to think about it, like, and don't think about the other people around. If you land it, roll away, go around them. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> that's one of the trades. Because I've done it before when, I think it was on that video where I almost took out that little girl on the bicycle, but I didn't. I rolled around her. I, oh my God. Oh, sorry. I'm like going blank. Um, I think stick to your guns. Like just when you start filming, like you're going to, like you, when you wake up that day, have a mindset. And if you're a filmer, ask you like hey like why don't you try it you just give it a try because you never know what happens yeah to be honest you know like take some uh criticism because i did you know because that's what your filmer says like no nah, that landing wasn't good enough if they say do it better i would try and do it better but on that have fun don't get mad like i used to don't get mad <laughs> don't get mad don't get mad. Don't get, you know, I want to say don't get carry gets, but don't get mad. Don't get gets. I used to like Don't get gets. Um, but basically, I would just, just feel like, just feel like for me, like when I was doing it, I was just like, hey, it's just like another other, in any other day, go out there with confidence and kind of do it. And if it didn't happen, go like I did numerous times, go back and try it again. Like it's just trying to like, but have fun. Don't get super mad. Cause when you get super mad, that's when it all kind of like fades away. So that would be my secret. I want to say that helped me. Cause there were days when I was like lost my shit and I was like, oh my God, I'm never ever landing this. And it took like the third day of not getting mad. Like fuck it, it is what it is. If I do it, I do it. I don't, I don't. And that was the attitude I had on that third day. And I was like, holy shit, peace out, bitch. I'm out. <laughs> like the Brooklyn Banks and the just skate to Max Fish. <laughs> no, that was the first and only day. Uh, <laughs> I was talking the uh, front board and the kick up <laughs> over the picnic table with, uh, with the football in my hand with Lisa Whitaker. I think she still has the footage of that. Because I used to skate with the football with me all the time. I used, used to be a super jock, but yeah. There's like some stuff that took me a lot longer than normal. But like, you know, when you want to do that lo long ass line. So in the beginning of the video, I did that switch line at all apart. Mm -hmm. I think I did a switch pop shove it. Switch backside flip. Switch front side 180. And then I nollie backside, nollie backside heel flip that line I was just like and it was like I was, I was like I, this is the line I want to do I'll switch all these tricks and I wanted to do it and it took me I think two days to do yeah. it and it's just like I got mad at first the first day and then the second day I was like if I don't get it I don't get it at least I got half the line something is better than nothing to be honest yeah. something is better than nothing yeah and you just gotta kind of go out there with a uh, positive attitude and don't be a Debbie Downer like I was because the Debbie Downer days I had, mm -hmm. I didn't produce. <laughs> it's true. I don't know about you. Did you like any time you had a fucking fit? Did you produce? I never really um, fitted. Huh? I wasn't a stressor. No? No. Really? No, man. Damn, something's wrong with me. I got to go to therapy then. <laughs> no, I mean, but also you're a tech skater, like, that's way more concentration and precision. Like all I did was fucking throw myself off shit. And then, you know. I, I used to love when you throw your shit. And I used to throw fucking, <laughs> throw your ass down you. shit. And now I throw like beach balls at you. I know, that was great. <laughs> Dude, that was no, like, like that switch back 5-0, switch back tail line. with that line's that I That's Chelsea, what's that spot called? Or uh, Seaport. Seaport. Yeah. Um, and I like again with the filmer, I was just like, oh, I don't think it, like he, I didn't think of that I would be, ever do that line or think of it on my own. Mm -hmm. But I remember RB saying, like, hey, why don't you try this tomorrow? And I was like, oh, okay. And 
he's like, you got switchback fivos and you got switchback tells. Why don't you put them in the line? And I was like, oh, okay. So when basically I was like, okay. And I was like thinking about it, like what I'm going to do. And then that day for the like tip wise, I was like thinking about, it, I was like, all right, you got those two tricks, just put them together and then yeah. let's make it happen. And I was, you know, a happy camper. I just like, okay, I got all these tricks. I got this. You can do it. That's kind of how you got to think about it. Like just mash these tricks together and it's like, oh, you got this. It's a lot There's of confidence, no... mindset and working with and... Your filmer, like listening to your filmer. Yeah. Yeah. Is your phone or is your scotch? Like yeah. I'm your scotch. Scotch. You should be my scotch. I need a scotch. Yeah. Yeah. Teach me nollie flips. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, you can nolly flip. Oh fuck. I can't nolly flip. Come on. Yes, you can. You sent me a clip of you nolly flipping like yesterday. <laughs> oh, well, you know. I do like nolly flips. Yeah. Well, cool. This was so, great, great to sit down with you. Any uh closing thoughts or any, you know, ideas about the contest? Anybody you want to call out or anything you're looking for? I I just want, I don't know, I want everyone to have fun and participate and I want to see all your footage and I can't wait to see all the footage. So, uh, dude, there's so many people to call out and I can't just call out one. Then I'll forget one, like, hell, you didn't call me out. There's so many people to call out and they all know who they are. So like Mariah, Jen, you know, <laughs> Sav, you know, Monica Torres, I'm just, you know, Samaria, you know, I'm just, you know, Mariah, just throwing it out there. Yeah, I, I just, I, I want to see everyone, dude. I, please, please, I need stuff to watch. Yes, everybody does right now in quarantine, and I'm so excited to watch all these submissions with you and judge them. Uh, it'll feel good. Good to, to see some good skating right now. Do us all a favor and enter. <laughs> Yes, please. I can't wait to see your footy and I can't wait to judge. And uh, we can do virtual high fives and virtual air hugs. Love you. And, <laughs> you know, we can do all these things. One day when the world gets back to normal, we'll do this in person. And I can't wait to cheer you on in person. Because yes. it would be rad to see. But I can't wait to see your footy. And everybody, please, more footy. I would like to see. I want to see Una. I want to see everybody, dude. Yeah. Get, come on, world. Let's do this together. Let me do <laughs> this. Cool. Well, thank you so much, Jamie. Uh, if you guys are looking for Jamie, Jamie is on Instagram. Uh, apparently, she watches YouTube a lot. There's a ton of Jamie Reyes uh, footage on YouTube if you just search her name. Thanks, Jamie, for joining me. Uh, see you soon, huh? You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Um,